Where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I should take a pic. Plus it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Seriously though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. I do love my analog camera. And I should take a quick picture now. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world, no, no matter who wins. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I 
also want every I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. But to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye and everybody should oh, have totally. that chance. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I feel like you have the Because Max wants everybody to see how she makes it. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. with a giant camera. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you you're okay, bro, just... Come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. 
You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the f***? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, can you give me an example of a Man, photographer who cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless. Can you give me I an actually did a photographer it. Who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? My pencil Diane, case is uh, still in the same place. There you go, Keep Victoria. it together, Max. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real.